In this lesson, we'll be discussing linear combination of vectors. The question reads, consider the vectors u, which has the x, y, and z components shown on your screen, and v in 3D space. Show that the vector w is a linear combination of u and v, and that x, which has these components, is not. To solve this problem effectively, you want to make vector w equal to a scalar k, and we'll have two because we have two vectors, u and v. So k sub 1 times vector u plus k sub 2 times vector v. k sub 1 and k sub 2 is what we're looking for here, and at this point we can replace w, u, and v with their components. So in place of this, I'll write down 1, 0, and 3, k sub 1 times the components of u, which are 1, negative 1, and 1, plus k sub 2 times negative 1, 2, and 1. Now if we equate the x, y, and z components, we should end up with three equations. 1 is equal to k sub 1, where I multiply the scalar to 1 and this scalar to negative 1, minus k sub 2. That's equation 1. Equation 2 will be 0 is equal to negative k sub 1 plus 2k sub 2. And the third equation will be 3 is equal to k sub 1 plus k sub 2. If I can find a solution for k sub 1 and k sub 2, that means w is a linear combination of the two vectors. Now of course you can solve this as a linear system or you can put it as a matrix and solve it from there. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's write this out in matrix form. The first column will be k sub 1, so 1, negative 1, 1. The second column in our matrix will be k sub 2's, negative 1, 2, and 1. And the last column will be the constants 1, 0, and 3. Let's try to put this in reduced row echelon form, or in row echelon form, doesn't matter. I'll start by adding row 1 and row 2, and that will be my new row 2. If I do that correctly, I'll end up with 1, negative 1, and 1. That first row doesn't change. This row, however, becomes 0, positive 1, and 1. Of course, row 3 hasn't been amended. And now to make these zeros, I'll subtract row 3 from row 1. So 1 minus 1 is equal to 0. 1 minus minus negative 1 is 2. And 3 minus 1 is 2. The last step will be to multiply row 2 by a factor of 2 and subtract it from row 3. This gives us 0 here and 0 here. We can easily solve now for k1 and k2. k2 can be found using this relationship. k2 is equal to 1. And substituting that into any one of these equations, let's say into here, I can solve for k1 and we end up with k1 is equal to 2. So we actually come up with an answer for k1 and k2. Now we have to do this whole process over again for 1, 0, and 0 to show that it's not a linear combination. So I'll put all of this work aside and I'll rewrite this part as 1, 0, and 0. Once again forming a matrix, your matrix should look like this. As you can see the first two columns are the same as was before. And if you try to put this in reduced row echelon form, the resultant matrix will end up looking like this. As you can see, this part right here shows an inconsistency in the matrix because what you're saying is 0 is equal to negative 3 and that doesn't make sense. And there you have it. That is how to show when a vector is a linear combination of another set of vectors.